Okay, how do you cook a cookie with fish oil in it and not lose the potency of the fish oil? That's a very good question. You can't use even Omega Cure to cook with it. It will turn fishy and it's not going to taste very good. But we discovered a way to make cookies with it without that oxidation happening. But it took us many years to figure it out. And by carefully controlling temperature and how we were preparing uh, the cookie, we were able to protect the oil without uh, creating any fishy taste or smell. So number one, we measured the oxidation of the cookie itself to see if it become rancid, did it become oxidized? And the answer back from the lab was no, it was not affected by the baking. Number two, what was the most important for us was to figure out, will it make a difference in people's health? So we took more than 100, 150 people and we measured the blood before and after using the cookie for many months and we measured how much omega-3 was integrated into the cell membranes. And the result was absolutely astonishing. We outperformed krill oil, regular fish oils, and it was probably due to the combination with the soluble old fibers. Number three, we started looking at blood lipids. And what we discovered was that we were able to lower the triglycerides to increase the good cholesterol and improve that very important ratio between the two of them, which is probably the single most important predictor of future heart health. So, eating one omega cookie per day, that's the same as two teaspoons of omega cure, but you get the additional benefits of the fibers. If you use one cookie, it will be the same as two teaspoons of Omega Cure. And it doesn't matter whether it's from Omega Cure or the cookie. It can take up to six to eight weeks, but you will be able to measure the effects, you'll be able to feel the effects, and you will be very glad that you started using other products.